Welcome back everybody. Doing a fifth gear install today. The kit uh, is Italian, came with Italian instructions. That's why I'm making this video. This is going to be a totally clear cut in English how to do a fifth gear kit install for the Fiat 500 or 126. Hopefully this is going to help somebody. Okay, so I've already gone through and done the entire job. Everything's good to go now. Ran into a whole bunch of problems. So this is going to be streamlined. To start off, you're going to take off this nut, that washer, this is the speedometer drive gear or odometer drive gear, whatever. I'm going to take this off here and be careful with this because inside this piece, this piece, this piece are all held on with that little band going around it. But this is what it looks like if you do happen to do that and drop one, that's how it goes back together. These little tabs going out this way, the whole assembly going that direction with the tabs this way. On this piece, take this off. I'm gonna take that off. I recommend using a magnet tool if you have one. Before you can actually pull this out far enough, you're gonna have to take this off. So right here, you have this plate that sits in there. This plate is covering three springs and three little ball bearings. The ball bearings hit on indents on these rods, so you're going to have to take them out before you can slide this out far enough. Okay, so then we can pull this out. And when you take material off of this, take it from this side. If you have the 500, it needs to go down to 21 millimeters. From here to here, 21. If you have the 126 style with the synchros, it's going to be 22.5 from here to here. All right, so I've got this upside down here. What I have to do is take a seven millimeter uh, drill bit to that right there. So there was a stud in there. So I take the stud out. It's okay that you're not going to have the uh, threads in there anymore because the threads are going to be on this piece. The, uh, the new housing that you put on this side. It's gonna bolt from the other side. You drill it with it upside down, that way the filings will fall down and then you're not gonna get any little metal bits up in your gears. So this is what it should look like once you're finished modifying it. So this is 13 millimeters from here to here for both transmissions. You can go ahead and take this off. So take that one off and we will be replacing this with an entire assembly that comes in the kit. Here's the assembly that comes in the kit. Note that inside of here you have some needle bearings, just be careful with those. And honestly, there's no reason why you need to take this apart, so just try to keep it together. After you tighten this down by hand, then you're gonna wanna use a torque wrench. It's gonna be a 27 millimeter. Set your torque wrench to five kilogram meters or 36 foot pounds or 49 Newton meters to tighten this and this one later on. So for now, we're gonna do this one. So the way that you tighten this down is you have to engage two gears at once by way of moving these things. And you select whatever. Get them to engage two gears in here at once. Might have to fiddle with it for a while anyway, you'll get it. Once you do that, then there is a hole right there. That's where a set screw is gonna go. So once this is tightened down, then you're gonna to wanna to take something I used a little kind of scribe tip type thing right here. So I took this and I just scratched in there. So then after you've done that, then take it back off. You're gonna wanna use maybe a twist tie or something to hold these components together when you pull this out. But you're gonna wanna take a drill or something and get it down a little ways where you made that scratch with this thing. That way the set screw has something to kind of sink into and hold it. So now you're going to want to take this lever out of there. So you're going to pull one of these with a little washer out of there. Make sure you don't drop it in and get that thing out of there. So this is coming out. This is going in.
Inside here, you're going to need to put the shaft back through this hole right here. You see, it doesn't want to line up with that hole right there, so then you have to use something to get it to line up while you push it in. So this part is really, really important. You got this shaft right here, and if you'll notice in the back of that shaft, there's that indent right there. So that indent is where this thing is going to sit. Mm -hmm. So you got the two fat ones and then the one itty bitty little one. Stick that groove right about there. Go ahead and drop it. That's why he used the screwdriver. Oh, okay, okay. I just need drop the it in smaller there. screwdriver, yeah. And then we got to take something and just kind of bump it down until it goes in. So after that goes in, then the other shafts, you got this shaft and this shaft. So this one has that little hole in it. That itty bitty one is gonna go inside of that hole after you put it in here. So you're gonna get that itty bitty little pin, it's gonna go inside that little hole right there, and then this is gonna slide back into place so that they're stacked on each other. After that, then you take the big pin that's remaining, that one goes on top of it, mm -hmm. and then this notch on the last one will sit over it. Those uh, pins kept trying to fall through there, mm -hmm. and that was making things real difficult. So now we're ready to put this back in. Put this into the guide right here. Make sure you put this back down if it's sitting up because this has to go through that hole. This one back in this. So now this is what we're looking like. We got this one that can spin freely until it gets engaged and then it turns the entire assembly. So, so now we're back to this piece. Again, make sure these tabs are sticking back. All three of them are in there. Put this ring in there first, this way. Line up that little guide tab with the guide line down here. All right, so if you're like me and you manage to knock this gear off towards the back, it was sitting back here. It's uh, really difficult to get back on, but if you use something, again, like this little tool, I got behind it and I pried it forward and uh, kind of pulled it up into place while I put some pressure on the uh, lever here to pull it out. And that was all I needed in order to get it back on there. Now that'll allow me to put this piece back through this, like it needs to get seated inside of here. Once that's all on there, you're gonna take this one that came in the set, facing this way, line up that little tab, and then these should line up. Okay, so after you put this gear on here, you're gonna take that modified part, it's gonna go in right there. If you're doing a synchro transmission, use a thin washer. You might even have to use thinner than this. This is the one that came off of there. If you're doing a non-synchro transmission, you must use the thicker washer that came in the kit. But if you're not doing a non-synchro, then you're not gonna use this. Put this on now. This one that came on there, that's back as far as it goes. This one is back as far as it goes. Everything's in place good. These gears line up just right. This is 13 millimeters. Put it there. Take this, put it on. And now there's not enough space for the nut to go on and still have the hole there. Even if we take the nut off and still not enough to put the pin through. So we got Mike. Hey. Robert. Hey.
for myself. Um, we had a, a nice Sicilian power outage. Check it out. You can see all of uh, <laughs> all of nothing out there. We drilled a hole at the end of this to get a cotter uh, pin to fit through a little bit further out than the original hole was made. We still got to put the little balls in here. This little part right here is going to go inside there. And then it's going to go on just like that. But for this to connect in there, you also need to put these pieces. There's two. One of them goes here. One of them goes here. We're getting this lever inside of here. This is a super pain in the butt. And then when you can't do it, invite your buddy over to do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> After all the progress we made last night, to, had to undo a bunch of it. So this cover's back off now. It's taken off. I'm gonna have to re RTV it and put it back together because I forgot to put that right there. We're modifying the the gear shift. Um, the thing. The thing. Here's that piece that I custom fabricated installed now. So in here, it's not very pretty, but it's gonna be covered up anyway. Cut out that notch there to give way for the fifth gear. Fifth gear is actually just over, and just right there. Just a little bump right into it. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Reverse. 